I'm Christy from 52 Hydra 3D with the second part of the Volcano tutorial. If you haven't gone and watched the first part already, I suggest you either go and do that now, or you can download this scene that we made last time from my Facebook group, 52 Hydra 3D. So let's get started on what we're going to do today, which is mainly going to be to smoke. So last time we created the main smoke emit object, which is just a slightly wobbly plane in the crater of the mountain. Probably go up a bit actually, by there. Doesn't really matter if it's visible because it's not going to be um, rendered anyway. So now that we've got that, press spacebar and type quick smoke and here it is, yeah. and it will create a load of settings and stuff in the um, in the various panels, which means we don't have to do it all manually. So let's just scale this domain object that it's created. Scale up a bit and then scale it down a bit it up a bit, get it up a bit, get it about that size. And this is going to be the bounding box for all of the smoke. And no smoke will be outside this area. So in the physics panel for this domain object, we want to change the behavior density to zero and the temperature difference to 0 0.001. We'll also at some point want to change the divisions up to 64, but if you've got a slow computer, you might want to leave it at 32 for the time being. I should be okay because I've got quad core i5, but uh, if you've got something a bit lower than that, you might want to leave it at 32 for now. Let's go over to the main smoke emit. And again, in the physics panel, we've got some extra things to change. We've got check initial velocity and change source and normal to two. Then let's play through the animation by pressing Alt A and see what we get. And that's not looking too bad for a first attempt. So let's pause it at around frame 40 and give it a render. And we can see that's the smoke there. It's looking red because of the red sunlight coming from the sun. But we need to do a few extra things to the material and a few more extra things as well. So let's go back to the smoke domain. And in the material panel, we've got this smoke domain material. Change the emission up to 0.5 and just change the emission color to a slight gray, like that maybe 0.01. Transmission color wants to go down to a gray about there, and so does the reflection. We also want to change the shading mode to multiple scattering, and the scattering to two. If we re-render this. see we can't see through the smoke as much as we could do which is good because volcanic smoke tends to be fairly dense and uh, unsee throughable let's just ch change the um, emission color bring it up a bit to a bit more of a brown color let's try rendering that again quite nice. So 
we've got one big lot of smoke. Time to add the second lot of smoke. So with this main smoke emit selected, duplicate it by pressing Shift D and just move it down by minus 0.1 like that, just so it's slightly separate from the other one. And let's rename it Trail Smoke Emit. And in the um, Particles panel, add a new particle system. Let's rename it Smoke Trail. Change the number down to 50. Change the end value to 5 and change the emitter geometry value to 10. If we go back and we'll see the particles flying out like so. I say that's probably a bit too much. So let's turn up the random value to 1 and see what randomizing it a bit does. I think that's still too much, so let's turn the emitter geometry down to 5. Maybe that's not enough, so maybe turn it up to 7. That's about on the right lines. So now let's go back over to the, um, the physics panel and where it says flow source change it from mesh to particle system and the particle system is used as smoke trail and let's go back and play this again and again stop at about frame 40 into camera view and you can see we've now got snake smoke trails coming down from the mountain as if they're um, as if there's a uh, debris flying out and here we've got the um, the particles looking rather horrible and white so let's turn off their rendering by going to the particles panel and under render choose none and the display choose point uncheck emitter let's re-render this and that's looking a lot better might need to change a few more settings the first thing to do is just change the emitter mesh slightly because um all the particles are being forced upwards too much, not outwards enough. So, if we just go into side view and go into edit mode, we can just grab a, a vertex somewhere in the middle, and with proportional editing turned on, just move it up like that. Same a bit more. Like that. And that just if we maybe rotate this around a bit gives the, the particles a better trajectory. So let's just play that again. Maybe you could 
do that just a little bit more. Oh, quite a lot more actually. So let's just do that again. Now it's working better, the particles pushing out to the side rather than going up. So let's pre-render that. Well, actually, let's turn initial velocity down to 1. One problem is that all the um, smoke and the particles are going outside the domain object. So we just need to scale up the domain object a bit more. Like that. Let's rerun through it again. Let's render it again. looking a lot better. Maybe actually turn off initial velocity completely. And maybe choose a frame around 25, remember there. Maybe give the particles just a little more upwards motion. So maybe change the Z value to 0.3. Like that, just like that. looking a lot better. Maybe just do a few more tweaks to the domain material. Uh, turn the emission color to a gray, a bit more of a gray. Um, Turn the scattering to 1.25. Render it again. I think that's about as much as we're going to get done because basically you could be tweaking this till the world ends and coming up with better and better results. So please continue to tweak on your own model and then you can post me images, uh, video responses on this video. You can post the images either on my Facebook page or my Facebook group or on Google Plus, where you can also find me. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.